over 35 years, the Mitsubishi Shogun has gathered something of a cult following. It used to be the go-to 4x4 for anyone with an active lifestyle. It could tow heavy loads and go further off-road than most of its competition, and you wouldn't have to spend as much as you would if you were going to buy a Land Rover. But then a new crop of SUVs were launched, not only cars like the Audi Q7 and BMW X5, which offered higher levels of refinement and build quality, but also more affordable to run and better on-road manners. So how does the Shogun fare against the modern competition? Where the Shogun really is at home though is in the rough stuff. There's a huge amount of pulling power and the gearbox has high and low ratios for improved grip. You can also lock the diffs for more extreme off-roading. It's no wonder they're such a hit with farmers. On the road though, it's a very different story. It doesn't have the composure that you get from the very best in class. The ride is fidgety and there's a lot of body lean through the bends. Plus the steering is pretty vague, so it doesn't give you the confidence to place the car exactly where you want to. The 187 brake horsepower 3.2 litre diesel has bags of pulling power, which is great for towing, but it's not exactly what you'd consider smooth. In fact, it's pretty gruff, and the wind and road noise will irritate on longer journeys. If you drive it with one eye on economy, you'll average around 30 miles per gallon, which is a long way off the best in class. The cabin is a little dated when lined up against more modern competition. It's fairly well laid out, but some of the materials are just a little low rent. You do get a decent amount of equipment though, including a touchscreen infotainment system, climate control and keyless entry, but you will have to pay extra for things like reversing camera, leather seats and rear air conditioning. From the driving seat, you won't struggle to get a decent seating position. You do sit quite high and the seat does have a lot of adjustments on it. It's just a shame that the steering wheel only adjusts for height. All round visibility though is excellent thanks to these large windows. The space is also very good for anyone in the front two rows. There's lots of head and leg room. The two seats in the boot though are only occasional seats and best reserved for small children. They do fold into the floor out of the way when not in use, meaning that the boot boasts around 1,120 litres of space with the middle row folded down. If you find yourself towing or off-roading regularly, then the Mitsubishi Shogun is well worth considering. But bear in mind there are better alternatives out there.